Hey, it's Jeremy Ward. A lot of people ask me about perk test uh, when we're selling the vacant ground. So I wanted to give you guys just a little background on and why it's so important to get it perked before you buy. So a perk test is basically a test that a soil scientist will come out and dig some holes on property uh, to see what type of soil is there, how it would absorb the septic, I guess you'd say fluids, uh, and moisture, water, whatever that's in there. Uh, and just to see if the soil is set up good enough to build a house and to have you know, uh, a good septic system. So there's several different aspects of this, if you will. Uh, so basically, if you're out looking for a piece of ground and you wanna build a home on it and it's not on sewer, you would need to do a perk test. Uh, there's several different perk tests, soil scientists in our area. Uh, your, your agent would be able to guide you to somebody that could do that for you. But basically, they're going to go out and you're going to tell them, hey, I want to build my home in this general area. Uh, it's going to be three, four bedrooms. So they'll know that that needs certain amount of footage of lateral, certain size tank. And they're going to need uh, to look for soil that would absorb that, that, that amount uh, of, of uh, waste. Um, for your system. So they go out and they'll dig three to four different hoes in kind of a general area where they think the system would go and they test that soil to see again how well it absorbs the waste. Um, so you do that and then the health department will look at those uh, once the soil scientist takes the readings, figures out what type of soil it is, gives the soil, they give the health department all that information. Now the health department's going to tell your contractor, whoever's going to put your septic system in, uh, what type of system that it would require for the type of house that you're going to put on it, whether it's three bedroom, two bedroom, four bedroom, whatever that is. Uh, and I would say there's no exact footage because it depends on the soil type, right? Like bad soil would require more footage of, of line, of lateral lines or, or baffles or whatever they're going to use, where really good soil wouldn't take as much. So that's all determined on the type of soil you have. But I would just encourage you guys to have that perk test because it's insurance. You're gonna spend anywhere from four to $500 for the perk test. But that's like buying insurance that when you close on this property and when you're ready to build, that you're gonna have a system that'll meet your needs. If not, you could buy that ground and save yourself four or $500. But when you go to build, it, I've seen several pieces of ground that just would not perk. Um, basically would not take a normal system. Some wouldn't take any systems at all. Uh, maybe it's close to wetlands or something and it just can't absorb anything. Uh, now others have had somewhat bad soil and they'll take a mound system or sand line system. But anytime you say sand line or mound, you're going up in price over a traditional gravity or pump system. So I would advise you to get with your real estate agent schedule you a perk test on your ground. You're gonna to need to know about where you wanna put the house to give the uh, soil scientist an idea. His goal would be to get you the cheapest system, which would be a gravity flow system, something that flows gravity away from the house. It's basically downgrade from the house so you don't have to pump it and that saves you money. Um, so tell them where it's at, where you're wanting to build your house. He'll figure out where the septic should go and then they'll give you results. But once again, don't buy a piece of ground that you're gonna build on without perking it. Uh, if you're just buying it for horses or animals, then that's not a problem. But uh, if you're buying it to build on and there's no sewer available, get it perk tested. For more local real estate information, please subscribe to the Jeremy Ward Team YouTube channel.